Hello everyone and welcome to this very exciting video. One of my dream breeds for Star Stable just came in. The teaser just came out. The horse didn't come out yet. Although, I wish. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Clydesdale horse is finally coming to Star Stable. I have, since I started in, started my account in 2012, which is seven years from now, seven years back, um, I have seen comments for Clydesdales everywhere, and it's never happened until now. Um, and I'm actually really glad because Star Stable is finally getting their own style, and then obviously they would have to go back, remake it, but I'm very glad they waited because it is definitely worth the wait. I am absolutely so excited. So what we're going to do first is watch the trailer, and then I am going to um, break it down in pieces because there's like a ton of information uh, just with this trailer alone. So, let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to head back here for a moment. Alright, so I'm going to go through um, the trailer and I'm going to stop. Um, I'm going to do the gates first and then I'm going to go through um, details that I, I notice. Has a nice front walk. I love that it has like a really prancy kind of trot. It's not like downsized, it's like an actual Clydesdale trot. Very nice jumping. I love the gallop. Everyone says they hate the gallop, but I love the gallop. Um, oh, they're so cute. Oh, I'm in, my star coins are in so much trouble. Just looking at them. Okay, so I'm going to go back and kind of go through um, details that I notice. Uh, no, not that. Okay, so this is one of the main styles. I've seen several main styles throughout this video. This is one of them where you can have just the normal tail and then the special um, mane for the Clydesdale. Uh, the special little braid that they have. I, I don't know the exact name for it. But oh, they're so cute. All right, let's see. Trying to find that one clip here. Okay, so one of the things I've noticed is, and I'm I'm surprised not a lot of people are talking about it. It's actually the braids. Um. Like the actual, like, normal English braids. Um, this, aside from our Eurovic Wormblood, I think this is the first horse that they've released where it's not the old, um, clumpy, then, uh, braid that we used to have. It's actually a new braid. Uh, so I'm very surprised how people aren't talking about that. And I've only noticed this, um, when I was review I was going through the trailer again, I watched it a few times and I saw it at the doctor's uh doctor's office that it was at and I was like, Oh I didn't even notice that at first, but now I notice it and I'm like, Okay. Uh so let's keep playing through here. Okay. Um so they definitely have different main style main and tail styles. You have the dock tail. But one thing, um and I'm sure this will cause some uproar of some sort. How, like, we shouldn't have dock tails for horses um, in Star Stable. Uh, 
when they dock a tail, it's so that the tail... Uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, is either shorter, and I think it's n um, not supposed to move. I can't really remember, because I remember I've had a few horses where they've had that procedure, and I, it's not coming to mind. But you know what? Let me look it up on my phone while I have it. While I have it in my head. Okay, so I found it on Wikipedia. Uh, the term docked or docking only refers to the practice of cutting the hair of the tail skirt very short just past the end of the natural dock of the tail. Uh, though less dramatic an amputation, it can still be difficult for a horse to swat away uh, fl flies. Okay, um, so yeah, that's what I thought it was. Um, so I really didn't even have to go and look. Um, but obviously, this is obviously just, um, obviously cruelty free. It's a game. Don't get upset over it. Um, in case that it is that it does come up um because obviously there is animation to the tail i've looked and i've watched it and there is animation to the tail so it's not it's not like the horse is in pain or anything it's a game it's so just saying see see the animation right there all right so hold on i want to go back Oops, a little bit too far. All right, let's. These are obviously the two that we know of the colors that are coming. Um, we have a black, and then we have the gray Sabino. Um, both of them I adore. Uh, however, I didn't even notice again. Just watching, it does have some purple tint. It's very slight. Um. And for people that are going to be in an uproar over this, probably, um, the way, um, the filters work in Star Stable, it's not meant to look purple, it just comes out that way. Um, again, with the filters and the system, it's, it's different. Um, but they are both so cute. Again, the new braids, uh, I think your tail is actually docked, so let me... Yes, okay. So, he, this horse, has a da tail. So you can obviously change, you can change the mane style, you can change the tail style. You can do quite a lot with these horses. And especially, um, the new braids. Uh, again, I didn't even notice this until I've watched it a few times. Uh, but they are going to start adding, I guess, the new braids to what I... I assume that they'll extend it to probably the Connemara and then every breed that came before. I don't see him go any f going any farther past that. Because uh, that's when we got our new animes, uh, Anna, uh, bleh, <laughs> new uh, horse designers. And that's obviously the style that they've chose to stick with. Um, so I think that as far back as the new braids will go. I really don't see him going any farther back. Oh, excuse me, than that. Uh, but let's play through again. Oh, wait. One thing I did forget to mention. If you notice, they're fluffy. Um, and if anyone's wondering, well, where will the platformer probably be placed? The only place I can imagine them being is obviously one at Fort Pinta, and then probably the two... Probably these two, maybe. Or maybe I'm wrong. Um... But I do imagine two of them will probably be at Valedale. Um, because there are two sp uh, spots open there. And if they're fluffy like this, I'm going to assume that they are cold tolerant. Um, which is would be awesome if they are. Because I love cold tolerant horses. And it would just... Another reason for me to get them. Alright, so I've seen a lot of comments about the rear, actually. Um, and honestly, it's not that bad. I actually kind of like that it's over-exaggerated. Um, and for those wondering, well, Clydesdale's rears aren't that over-exaggerated. First off, I've worked with, uh, quite a few Clydesdales out outside of Star Stable, uh, out of the universe, um, in real life. Um, 
and they're kind of awkward horses. Um, they're lovely horses. They're elegant horses, but they do have that awkward side to them. Um, so I think it's so suiting that they do have some kind of a little bit of quirk. It gives them personality. Again, this is not a realistic game. It has realistic elements, but it's not realistic. Again, I'll say it once. I'll say it twice. I'll say it again. Um, we have Jorvik Wild Horses, which are color-changing horses. We have we have Magic Quests, and magic everywhere. So, to really put a realistic thought into this, really isn't going to work well for you. Um, they're just not going to make everything a hundred percent realistic. Um, so I do like that they're just a little bit awkward. Um. It act I actually think it makes them look just even more cute watching them. Um, so obviously they're coming out next week. Uh, if anyone wants to know my personal plans, I'm probably only going to get one uh, when I record next week, which is my last update video for the year. Um, I am probably am only going to get one for the video because I do want to get some horses on Christmas Day. Um... If I don't record it, I obviously uh, will show it to you guys in the first update video of the new year. Um, or I'll make a separate Christmas video. or I'll, I'll do something, don't worry. Because um, I know you guys like to see what horses I buy and the names I give them. Um, so don't even threat about me um, even going uh, forward without just say, saying, oh, I'm just done. But don't worry, I'm... And especially if anything happens for the last update of the year, I really don't think there's anything that's really going to happen, personally. I think it's um, just going to be very small, and normally it is. Um, so I will probably talk about it in a separate video uh, with uh, the Clydesdales I buy. Um, but I'm not going to tell you guys which Clydesdale I'm going to get yet. Maybe if you see, and if some of my, like, uh, friends or um, followers on Instagram, you might know which horse I'm probably already going to get. Because I, I might have talked about it a little. Um, but, as of right now, I I'm still on kind of deciding. Because both the gray and the black so far are my favorites. Unfortunately, yes, the colors were leaked. Um, no, I don't talk about spoilers on this channel, just to be fair to everyone involved. Um, but you, trust me, they're out there. They're not that hard to find. Um, once they get out there, they're out there, unfortunately. But spoilers aren't talked about on this channel, just to be fair to everyone. Um, so we, I, I am gonna, even though, um, realism-wise, um, I'm going to compare the model to actually, um, here we go. Uh, actual Clydesdales. So, I have Clydesdale pictures here. Here we go. Um, so, so far, if we kind of, like, compare them, that's a Clydesdale to me. Um, yeah. It, that's definitely a Clydesdale. Um, I actually saw... Because the one thing, if you want to get, like, a kind of a, a color idea of what they're going for, if you search on, like, Bing or Google, uh, the horse breed, um, it kind of gives you an idea of what the color scheme is. Because, see, here's this horse that has the one, one uh, the Clydesdale that has the one black hoof. But it, it's on the opposite end. And it has the white blaze. Um, not all the way around the face, but you can kind of get an idea of what the horses are going to be. But you can kind of um, just get in a, a real feel. Like, okay, oh, where, 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 where'd you go? Where'd you go? I saw that one picture. Like, this one kind of reminds me of the Gray Sabino. Um, let me look, actually. Obviously, the legs aren't a full white. Um, there's obviously uh, dark points. Um, but you can obviously tell. Uh, kind of where... That's the one thing I recommend to people if you're wondering about colors but you don't want to look at spoilers. 
um, look the breed up on uh, Google or Bing or whatever search engine you use, and you can kind of get an idea of what they're going for. You want to kind of just, like, see, I could you like, this one or that one. You can kind of, like, figure it out. Then, especially if there's, like, a unique-looking one, they might just go for that. Like, I could see them going with something like this, like a dark dapple with light points, um, stockings, uh, bald face. I could see them going with that. Alright, so... And even, I always look at Wik uh, Wikipedia as well to see what kind of, um, colors, uh, that we are looking for. Okay. Clydesdales are usually a bang color, but with a, but a roaning pattern, black, gray, chestnut also occur. So, there's quite a few possibilities that they, that Star Stable can go with. Um, I definitely would love to see a chestnut. Um, definitely would love to see more roans. I don't know if I would consider this a roan, even though it does have darker legs. But I'm not seeing the darker face, so I'm just calling it a gray. Um, but it might be a roan. I could be wrong. Um, but I'm not really seeing the roan. Uh, here, yeah, hang on. Let me look at it. Uh, want a roan Clydesdale. Yeah, okay. So as I'm looking, that could actually... Let me look. That actually could... No, actually, because I'm looking... Ah, uh, no, because the, the legs are too short. I, Or, not the legs are too short. Um, Trying to... Yeah, the stockings are... Um, socks are shorter. So that's probably not the horse. Um... Yeah, I don't know if I would consider that a roan, though. I think it's a... I'm going with my gut and just saying it's a gray Sabino. Um. Because I'm not really seeing any reference images that would give me that idea. Um. But, yeah, that's all I have to say, you guys. Um, I hope you guys are excited uh, for this Wednesday update video. Unfortunately, it will be my last update video for uh, the year. Um, I do have videos planned out, and I do have things that are going on, um, so don't even worry if you're, like, wondering when, uh, or how, or which videos are gonna come. Um, the New Year's video is gonna be huge. I'm starting production, uh, today, actually. Uh, later on tonight, I'm actually, uh, gonna be working on the first part of it. There's different parts and elements to it, um... But yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching, and remember to keep a positive, happy trails, everyone. Be a get excited for next Wednesday, because it is going to be huge. Literally, we have Clydesdales. I'm so excited. Bye!